Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can stop windows 10 version 1903 update from installing on your system now if you're quite happy to have the latest uh, version of windows 10 1903 install then you don't need to do this but if you're one of those that want to hold off and uh, pause that installation or stop it or prevent it then this video is for you and we're going to take a look at how we can do that in this video now not everyone wants to uh, go ahead and uh, do the windows uh, 10 version 1903 update right away and if this is the case you need to go to the start button then the settings button then go into update and security inside here you'll see the actual updates available here now to stop the actual update from coming down we're going to go down to advanced options here so click on uh, the advanced options and uh, from here we're going to come down uh, to the bottom part so make sure you're not on paused updates because this is only going to temporary pause it but from here you can see it says choose when updates are installed we've got a uh, semi annual channel and also we've got semi annual channel targeted inside here you've got some days so if you're on the targeted area you can go up to 365 days so whether you want to choose the semi-annual channel targeted which will give you 12 months or up to 12 months or the semi-annual channel uh, option you've got up to 16 months with that option so let's take a look at the uh, targeted version here and you can go up to as you can see here 365 days You've also got the quality update includes security improvements which can go up to 30 days as well uh, depending on what you want to do there and that's pretty much it that you can set this up to say uh, two months or three months or whatever you want to set it up to on the semi annual uh, channel targeted if you want to change it to the semi annual channel this will give you up to 16 months as I've said so let's take a look at uh, the other option available to us which is the uh, group policy editor now if you want to uh, do the group policy editor you can do so I'll quickly show you how to uh, do that on this system now also I am running Windows 10 Pro here and this gives you much more uh, control over your updates so if you're using Windows 10 home you are very limited on what you can do so let's go to the group policy editor this is also another option for Windows 10 Pro users Hence why I always tell people to go for the Windows 10 Pro version because you've got much more control over what you want to do on your system. So let's go ahead and go to the location here. So we need to go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Windows Updates and also Windows Updates for Business. That is the location we need to go to inside our Group Policy Editor. And there we go we're just going to go into this location here and once we're in there we can make changes so next up you can see here on the right hand pane we're going to go to so we need to select when preview builds and features updates are received so click on this one here double click and this will open up another little box and you just need to enable this feature and you'll see that it looks very similar to the one inside uh, the operating system you can see here we have semi annual channel and also semi annual channel targeted and a bunch of other settings in here which gives you a few more here again you would just use that same process 365 days 60 days whatever it is that you want to change this to you just change the number and then you can put your pause preview builds or feature updates starting from a certain date it gives you much more um, control on when you receive your updates and this is important for businesses and also uh, people that just don't want to be forced into updating windows straight away and let all the guinea pigs uh, troubleshoot and trial the uh, release nice and early so that's basically how you can do that just apply that and okay and reboot the system now for windows 10 home users you need to go into the settings pane here then click on network and internet and then once we click on that we need to go over to the left hand side and click on Ethernet or Wi-Fi depending on what connection you're using 
and then you would see uh, your connection up the top saying either Wi-Fi or Ethernet click on this and inside here you'll have an option for metered connection now be careful because using this will block all sorts of updates to your operating system and this can leave you very vulnerable but basically this is the only option you have apart from completely blocking updates altogether as well so you've really sort of restricted when it comes to Windows 10 Home so that's why I always advise people to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro because it gives you a bit more control and you can cl uh, click on the amount of days that you want to allow uh, to wait or pause for that update to be installed or rolled out onto your system this method is going to block it completely okay and uh, if you was looking at Wi-Fi here it'll be listed up here instead of Ethernet okay and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can prevent or stop or block uh, Windows 10 uh, version 1903 from getting on your system my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for continued support now obviously if you don't want to block any of this stuff then you don't need to do any of this uh, sort of settings but if you do want to block it for temporarily for a couple of months or a month then this is the way you can do it if you've got any questions or you've got any other things that you want to talk about don't forget we've got a nice discord server for you guys to join it's free to join and pop over there and have a chat with us thanks again bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos